Listen up, Dong Rockets, it's time for another one of my cynically motivated, smelly trailer reaction videos. This time for Death Stranding, right in the baby's mouth. There's Mads Mikkelsen. Hideo Kojima is a huge fan of Mads Mikkelsen, apparently. You could say he's Mads for him. <laughs> Anyway, is Mads Mikkelsen having a chat with a baby, from the looks of things. This is Death Stranding. I don't know if I pointed that out. This is that game that Hideo Kojima has been working on for about a thousand years. And every time we see new information about it, it leads to more questions and we seem to know less and less. But this trailer does show off a little bit more about how the game will play uh, when it comes to the story and the themes and all of that. You can pick up some snippets, some dribs and drabs. Um, I had a look at half the trailer yesterday. Uh, I am exploring the majority of it with you, I think. Or maybe the minority. But about half of it. Um, the story seems bizarre. And convoluted and chaotic and a sprawling mess. But Hideo Kojima does those stories surprisingly well. He makes them very entertaining. Uh, mostly goofy, but with some interesting serious themes in there. You know, Metal Gear Solid had a lot of um, pol political discourse within it, even in a story about, you know, telekinesis and clone brothers fighting on a robot's head. Uh, so we can confirm that walking is in the game. We can see Norman Reedus here doing a lot of walking in the snow on some grass. There is an inventory, a ladder. Ladders confirmed for the game. Look at that. You can make one. That actually looks quite fun. I like the idea of a portable ladder. Why haven't they done that in all of the video games where there's climbing? That would have made every Bethesda game better. With all the bloody mountains. I even used to call them Bethesda mountains. You can climb down them with a rope, don't worry about that. Um, the game visually, of course, looks impeccable. Th this is a level of visual detail I would refer to as luxury. Uh, very expensive. That is actually part of Kojima's undoing, as successful as the Metal Gear series was. There is a, an element of understanding to Konami because the Metal Gear games were silly expensive. Because Hideo Kojima spares none of it. The expense, I mean. So, lots of grass, lots of big bags. I don't know how he's running with a bag that big, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Uh, but we can see stealth here. There will be a, a stealth element to the game. Uh, I think people are expecting that. Um, I think I think it was even soft confirmed at some point. Uh, running from fellas in hazmat suits with big long cattle prods. I mean, that's not necessarily a prod. That's more of a cattle spear. Sorry, th this bit I genuinely hadn't seen yet, so now I'm just quietly looking. Yeah, look at that. Punching. It looks good. Like, I don't want to get too hyped. It's the video game industry. Never trust a trailer explicitly. Uh, obviously, Kojima's got a good track record. But I don't want to get overexcited and hyped up. I don't get hyped for games anymore. I don't trust the industry. But I do like yellow hazmat suits. I always think they look neat. Very uncomfortable, actually, to wear. Not that I've worn one, but they are, you're trapped in there with all of your sweat and the smell of your farts, apparently. But anyway, you're plugging into a baby. Uh, apparently, um, the baby is like a ghost modem. Uh, you, at least that's what the trailer shows. You plug into it, and then he has a little bit of a, a look at some funny ghosts. Um, Laura on my Podquisition podcast, she said they, it's like, having a look at some Dementors or something. They got these sort of wispy... They actually remind me a bit of the ghosts in Silent Hill for The Room. I don't know if any of you remember that one. The way they sort of hang there. Uh, and it looks like they're on string or something. Uh, but anyway, we see stealth here as you, I, I guess, plug into the baby, have a look at the ghosts, and then try and sneak away from them. But you might get dragged down into ghost oil and become the thing from the Evil Dead. Is that what this is? Oh, shit, friends. This is a prequel to the Evil Dead. And Norman Reedus turned out to be the entity that chases Ash around the forest. How about that? Ghost tank. Why not? 
So yeah, we got some uh, World War One. I, I think it's World War One um, stuff here. Uh, presumably, uh, like ghostly reenactments of the past. Um, I only really have the trailer footage to go on. I'm trying to not read into the game too much because I want surprises. Uh, Pre-release stuff can show too much nowadays. Uh, sometimes I don't even watch pre-release trailers for certain. Well, I watch a few here and there, but I don't go watching all of them. This one, though, I'm just so confused by it all. It, again, in a good way, that I do want to kind of watch each thing and fathom it out. Um, look at the... <laughs> I don't know whether I should feel bad for the baby or just be, like, find the baby darling. Or maybe it, I should do both. Uh, right, here are the names. And this is where it gets really Kojima. We got Sam and Cliff, Fragile, mm, Mama, Deadman, Guillermo del Toro. Look at that, Heart Man. Die, Heart Man! That's the bit I was waiting for. Fuck Higgs. Like, it's good that Troy Baker's got a job. Emily, like, that's all good, but fuck all the other names. Because we've got Die, Hard Man. Ah! No! No with the but no with the creepy doll baby face. I hated that. Which meant I like it meant I liked it because it was creepy and spooky, but I also hated it. And now he's blue. Why wouldn't he be? Or is it more grey? What would you say? Would that be grey or blue? It's been a very long trailer, isn't it? And you'd think this would be the end of the trailer, but oh no, there's plenty more to go. Because that's Hideo Kojima for you. I don't know if you remember before Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater came out and they had trailers for that and they, they never ended. They never ended. You'd get to the end of the title drop of the trailer and then there'd be a, a post-trailer stinger and then there'd be a stinger for the stinger. Anyway, Mads Mikkelsen again. Lighting his cigarette on the ashes that are falling. I'm not sure that's possible to do. I'm not too sure about the physics of, of Ignition, but I don't think you can do that. Send the answers in on a postcard if I'm wrong. I could be absolutely wrong. This is the zombies from Metal Gear Survive before they got their heads shaved down into unicorn stumps. That's pretty cool. And right behind them, if you squint in the distance, you can see Sephiroth walking backwards into it looking all cool. Surprise when it all comes apart. And there's the release date for you. Um, sooner than some people expected, I think. They're supposed to come together. Later than some people hoped. I saw some people crossing their fingers for a surprise thing, like Hideo Kojima would do one of his one of his patented wacky stunts and be like, "It's out right now." But I think that was that was wistful pipe dreaming, and I think the people even saying it knew it. Um, but yeah, that's out this winter. And considering, you know, we'll be gearing toward the next generation very soon, uh, this could be one of the last big hurrahs for the generation, and I'd be fine with that. Uh, it's just nice to see Hideo Kojima clearly untethered and, and working with a team, because um, we can't forget that one man doesn't make the games. Uh, working with a team that are, are not tethered to a, especially a publisher as boneheaded as Konami. Um, it looks good. I'm confused. It looks weird, but... The gameplay is, the you know, it looks fairly traditional, really. It looks it looks straightforward mechanically. Sneak about, hit things, shoot things. All the, all the greatest hits of action, stealth gameplay. Everything you'd expect, but with a, a typically balmy story with silly names and ridiculous costumes and wacky skull masks. And I'm okay with all of that. Um, I'm okay with everything I'm looking at. It's the ladder that gets me. That is the revelation here. A portable ladder that extends and drops onto things and you can climb up. If that extends to anything, if you can use that ladder anywhere and get on top of anything and get over anything, then this might be the most revolutionary game of all time. Revolutionary ladder mechanics is where it's at. We want verticity, we want it now. Or is it verticity, we want it now. Or maybe it's none of that. Whatever it is, we want to go vertical and we want to go there immediately. So for that reason alone, I'm on board with Death Stranding. Or should I say Death Standing on a ladder, which is cool. 
Anyway, game looks... It looks fantastic visually on the screen. Whether it will play fantastically, we're going to have to wait till November. Or at least I am, I'm sure Game Informer will tell you beforehand. But the rest of us, we'll wait till November. Fingers crossed. I want it to be very good. Uh, I want that... I, I mean, there's personal bitterness here because everyone knows I've got personal beef with uh, Konami and people within Konami. So, for personal edification uh, and my own... Uh, bitter self-satisfaction. I would love to see Konami languishing in filth, unable to release a decent game to save its life in the Metal Gear series, while Hideo Kojima's team goes from strength to strength. That would be nice. Yeah.